What is up guys, using a E here, back with a tutorial. Uh, it's been a while since I did one of these. I've I've tried, I guess, I'm not gonna lie. I've tried a lot to do a lot of these tutorials, and it just never really falls through the way I want it to. But, I mean, here it is. Uh, this is a tutorial over the particles that I used in my uh, Rise, a Dare editing entry. Uh, as you can see right here, there is a bunch of green particles in the air behind a rotoscoped intervention that I had of the clip. I just duplicated the clip, rotoscoped out the intervention, so it has a little more depth in it. it looks more real because, I mean, obviously, I don't, I wouldn't want this yellow thing just like in front of the, in front of the gun. That would look funny. So th there it is. A um, bunch of particles flying everywhere. I also have another preset that I made of particles swirling around. I might give that out later. Depends how good you guys are. But uh, here is what I made real quick. Now forgive me for the forgive me ahead of time, but this tutorial is gonna be mainly you copying down my numbers. Um, I'm gonna kind of explain how a particular works. That's why I'm not just gonna give out the preset. And uh, so after you guys muscle it out with this one tutorial, uh, just deal with it. You guys can after finished animation save animation preset call it whatever you want and then you'll have it you'll have it for yourself I guess so here's what we're gonna do um I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all of these I guess actually I'll get rid of these two get rid of these yes I want to delete yes I want to delete and uh oh shit I got rid of my background that's okay though I'll just make a new one a new solid I'll call this BG and how I did that was I right clicked on the timeline if you didn't know for all you beginners all you newbies in After Effects uh, and now we're gonna look up ramp and we're gonna find gradient ramp and we're gonna drag it onto the solid and what we're given is uh, gradient black white we're gonna change it up a bit to from linear to radial and we're gonna change the black actually we're gonna swap colors first and we're gonna change the white to more of a really darkish blue so like that more. It's almost it's almost like a black, gray, blue blend. But it, it works out for us. So now after our BG is done, we're going to make another solid. And I'm gonna call this particular. And because I'm a neat freak, I like to stay organized whenever I edit. Uh I'm going to pre-compose this. Call it particles, and I'm gonna move it into a new composition. Um, if I'm going too fast for you guys, I'm sorry. Uh, there's a lot to cover. So if, I mean, you can pa always pause the video and just really try to figure out what I'm saying. Uh, uh, my tutorial speech will enhance over time. I'll, I'll be a lot better over time. I'll get, I'll get there the more tutorials that I bring out. So now, I don't think if you caught that, but... In our, I opened up our new uh, particle layer, and now, now we have our solid called particular, and I dragged on particular on it. Uh, it's the effect. It's a third-party plugin by Trapcode, by yeah, Trapcode. I just dragged it on, and now if we just kind of scroll through, this is what it looks like, and that's not at all what I showed you guys earlier. So we're gonna go to emitter, and we're gonna change a not a couple things, a bunch of things. We're going to start off by changing the particles per second to 10,000. Now, if your computer is really slow, I recommend you do this at the end um, because it'll just make your RAM preview life a living hell. As you see, if we scroll through now, there are a ton of particles uh, because there's 10,000 10, and because our uh, life is at like 3 seconds right now, which I'll get to, uh, I'll get to in a bit later. And we're also going to change our emitter type to box. And so what that does is it opens up our emitter X, Y, and Z so we can change this, which I'm going to. I'm going to change the emitter size Y to about 20, X to around 2, and then we can have our emitter size Z at around 30. Uh, you can toy around with the emitter size Y. I know that during my uh, during the actual edit I had it around 30 as well. So uh, it was close to around these settings. And then we're going to yank up the velocity to around 800. For the video, I had it at 820, but I'm just going to put it at 800 for now. And we're going to just have our velocity randomness 
at zero and then we're gonna keep the rest I believe yeah we're gonna keep the rest um, whenever I get confused in this tutorial I'm just always gonna look down at my phone I have a picture of my settings uh, so yeah if I ever pause that's probably what I'm doing just looking at my phone so now let's open up our particle tab it's right under emitter particle and then we're going to go to life second change this to one so now we saw a, a little bit of particles go away but not a lot so we're gonna jank up our randomness so that a little more die off uh, I'll have mine at around 35 34 ish is fine the feather doesn't really matter too much I'm gonna have mine just at like I don't know 80 80 sounds good uh, we're gonna motion blur all this anyway so you won't really be able to tell and now we're gonna drop down to our size size the next thing that we're gonna change we're gonna change it to three size over life we're gonna open this up and we're gonna just drag this over take a look at all of our settings I'm gonna use the uh, this little ramp right here it's a perfect ramp it's diagonal and what it says is that the size will be greater at the birth and it will start to like decay towards its death and what uh, really shows you what its birth and death rate is is the life per second so if it's like if we yank up the life per second as we see the particles are still really big on the outside but we're gonna bring this back down to one and now we have very tiny particles on the outside so we're gonna do the same thing with our opacity opacity over life we're gonna use that same ramp and now as you see it's like there's hardly any particles on the outside which is what we're going for here so with that done all we have to do for the particles is the color so we're gonna do set color to over life uh, you can do whatever you want this is where you can be creative I did over life and I we're gonna open up color over life and I made my colors in uh, in here I made it more of a purplish and I have like a red you can't really see because the interventions over it but it, it was kinda like that kinda I would say this is close the closest preset that you will find and um so th we're gonna be done with our colors now we're done with our uh, particle tab so I'm gonna close the particle tab I'm gonna close the emitter and now let's move on to I believe it's physics and we're gonna change the gravity because right now it's just kinda exploding out and we're gonna make it kinda go more upwards to just make it unique so gravity you can make it go down by just adding more gravity but I'm gonna make it go up by putting it at negative 700 uh, now as we see there's some particles that go down but ultimately it just makes a u-shape it comes right back up uh, so it looks like that and now we're gonna open up our air tab and this is where we can add some really nice animations to the uh, particles to make it not look so linear so I am not too familiar with this uh, I kinda just did my thing toyed around with it as you should I don't recommend just using my settings uh, have some fun I spent a lot of time doing this to make this effect so uh, hopefully you can make something maybe even better so first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna open up air I I did I usually talk and keep going I'm sorry about that we're gonna open up air and open up turbulence field and the effect size is gonna be at something completely different than 30 but you're gonna wanna change it to 30 and our effect position you can just put it whatever for the sake of the tutorial because I don't really know what these two do other than change it around make it look cooler I put the position to 250 I know what the size does it makes some particles bigger than the other but I mean what you gonna do so we're gonna leave most of the other settings the same I'm gonna bring up the complexity you don't really have to but I'm going to I just doubled it to six and one other thing we're gonna do is to add some animation if you look at the Y offset this really makes it twirl around uh, what I did I believe was I alt clicked it so hold alt and click the stopwatch next to Y offset and click time times not eight the time sign dash 500 and I didn't mean to click enter but I mean just click off and then it'll you'll have this uh, I think it's like a wiggler equation I don't really know but it's not I'm freaking crazy uh, uh, it's expression there we go an expression 
Ah, oh, jeez, it's been a while, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, but what we see now, what we have now, is it kind of shakes around while it moves up, and that the animation looks cool. It looks a lot less linear than just particles moving up like how we had it earlier. So, yeah. So let's move on to the next part. I think we're done with air. I believe so. So we let's close physics, and let's go on to visibility. And I actually think I don't did any. I didn't do anything with visibility. Actually, we're gonna go straight to rendering. Sorry, and we're gonna add some motion blur. So we're going to do motion blur. It's, it's gonna say comp settings. Change it to on, and look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, all these particles. It, they don't look like spheres anymore. They look more like little lines, which is what I was going for. Which is what I really like about motion blur. This is why we have our um, velocity set so high because. I mean, obviously, the more velocity, the more motion blur. That's why. That's how the term motion blur came to effect. But if we drop this down, we can see we have... It kind of looks like a little flame, actually. That looks pretty cool. But um, let's bring it up a little bit. See, it still looks like little... These are still streaky. But ultimately, the... Uh, the lower the velocity, the lower the motion blur is going to be. I don't know how I put these uh, title action safe on so I'm gonna take that out and so this is honestly just all that I did um, it's a r pretty confusing uh, it took me a while it was just me toying with like literally everything I just did that and I was like oh oh that looks cool and then I kept it and if we look on our background clip it looks pretty nice um, we're gonna pretend like because what I didn't hear I have this intervention what I we're going to pretend like this new layer is going to be the intervention. So what it will look like will be, let's just make like a little box. And this looks awful, but it doesn't matter. It'll cover the middle part. So the middle part, I don't really like how it looks. It's just craziness going on. So I, that's why this worked out perfectly for me. So uh, you guys can do whatever you want with it. Uh, I have a lot of really cool ideas for particular to throw at you guys. Um, if you guys could tell, I have other particles going off in this clip. Let's see what else I got in here. This ring, that ring that passed by just then was made out of particular cloudlet, and I just animated it with a path. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know I rambled on a lot, and I know it wasn't the best. Um, just try to bear with me. The more tutorials I make, like I said, the easier it will be for me to communicate with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Yeah, I understand, Norton. Hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, wait for my next tutorial, wait for my next edits, and I'll try to be more active. I'm really busy with school, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, leave a like if you did, leave a comment, and tell me what you want to see next. And until then, it's been using AE, and I'm out. Peace.